Okay, so I've got the um, sheet here set up for A2 with a 1 to 100 floor plan on it and I want to have a uh, graphical scale here to go with that. Uh, obviously we've got the scale uh, coming up in the title block there so I don't need to show that on the uh, on the viewport here so I've got that set to viewport no title rather than title with line which would show the scale in that tag as well uh, but of course if with that we still don't have a um, graphical representation of the scale so the easiest way to um, to bring money to Revit is to use a uh, symbol so on the annotate tab you have the uh, symbol option so symbol is just another kind of family and you can place these in the view so I could place it back in the floor plan which uh, is so I forget the name of this, this is ground floor plan so if I, I can go back to that in the project browser and if you want to you can place it there but I'm going to place it on the page which I think is probably the better option so on my title block in other words and so again I'm just going to click on the symbol button on annotate and then you can see that I've got just a couple of symbols loaded at the moment a centre line and a north arrow and so if you haven't used symbols before um, they can be used for other things like that north arrows in particular uh, but uh, to get more just like any other family you can click load family and then in the default library you should have one so here this has opened up the Australia library and then in annotations symbols general you'll find a graphical scale set up from 1 to 100 so I'm just going to double click on that and place it on my sheet ok so that works it's uh, an A2 sheet so in relation to that sheet it's probably on the large side so I'm just going to quickly open up a file I have from a book that I've bought so it's not a uh, copyright infringement and uh, if I just need to remember where I've saved it here it is ok the metric handbook and just in case you're wondering is one that you probably all have anyway and so if you're wondering about standard ways of showing things like scales this has all of that information and so in here I know at the beginning they have a section on scale bars so here we go so you can see at uh, 1 to 100 here we are 5 metres is um, I think enough 10 metres is going to be fairly long and uh, so I mean 10 metres is, is probably uh, the standard in some ways but uh, you can see here 1 to 200 they've got uh, 10 metres there showing which is uh, probably going to give you a good length for 1 to 200 so I'll do 10 metres 1 to 200 but for 1 to 500 5 metres ok so what I want to do first is change that symbol so that it's going to show 5 metres for 1 to 100 so uh, before I go to edit it I'm just going to show you how you can work out these measurements just by using the measure tool I'm going to measure from one point there notice it's not actually snapping properly to all of it I'll just do that again so you can see it didn't snap to that line it might snap to other parts of it but if you just do it by eye it's going to be close enough just to give you an idea so that's 50 mil ok so it's not at 1 to 1 the way most things are in Revit uh, so when you're working on the sheet particularly you need to think in terms of the scale as well so it's 5 metres uh, 5000 divided by 100 which gives you 50 and that's something you're probably used to if you're still drawing by hand especially 
and um, using your scar rollers and, and doing things like that. So you have to be thinking in that way. And so I'll just select that, um, that symbol now, edit family, and then I'm going to uh, simply delete some of these things, delete some of those lines, I don't need those, change the text there to 5M, and stretch it out a bit, and then you could have a, uh, another number there, uh, perhaps for one and then I'm going to change uh, take out some of these lines so I don't need that one or this one or this delete those and then using trim oh sorry I've deleted one too many Oops. so one at the top there so I'm just going to then tune those together. Okay, so that would work as a 1 to 100 scale, uh, or I could also copy across that and have... Right. Okay, so I'll just save as. Yep, sure. Yeah, you can have it however you like. Yep, so I'm just showing how you can make a different okay. graphics, but yeah, whatever you want. And so I'll save this into the folder on the P drive. Here we design, sorry, not Julie Design. Here Design. Revit Library. And I'll put it into annotations there. And then uh, we don't have a general folder here, that's a bit odd. Uh, well, I'll just use uh, architectural. And there's a file there already with the same name, so I'll just change that to 1 to 100 D1. You could put, uh, sometimes people have the numbers at the top. And then what the scale is at the bottom. So I've just copied that text down and I can have then 1 to 100. Uh, so that's make that left justified. Slide that up a bit better. Okay, so that works. Sometimes they're a bit big otherwise. And so I'll just save that again. And load in the project. And I can just place that so it doesn't take up anywhere near the room. Might even, sorry, that's uh, still a bit large. So then you could always reduce it by reducing these lines down. So I just want to get that right so I can then. Um, make a couple of others of different scars. Okay, so that's that's fine. Again, a lot cleaner than the other one. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward because I'm just modifying another scale. But then now I might need to have a 1 to 50 and a 1 to 200 scale reference as well. So I'm going to make a new sheet. And I'll just use the same title block. And just as a reference, I'll put a copy of this floor plan and make it, uh, well, I'll start with 1 to 200. So I'll rename it that, so I know which one it is.
Okay, so now I can drag that onto my sheet. It's going to be useful there just to have the reference. Okay, so if you check the um, measurements there, they should be half the size exactly of the 1 to 100, of course, because it's double the scale exactly, or uh, exactly half as a fraction. So 1 over 200 instead of a 1 over 100. So I'll just uh, place the scale symbol on just to prove that to you. So let's make sure I've got the right one. Okay, so this scale symbol, of course, is going to give us the wrong measurements in relation to this plan. So I'm just going to select that and uh, half those measurements. Oh, sorry, double those measurements. So it should be... I measure this. That's obviously on the sheet. 30... close to 30 mil. And if you do the calculation... Uh, we're going to have uh, 10 metres divided by 200 is 50 mil. And if I measure this at the moment, that's 50 mil. So that 50 mil, instead of representing 5 metres, needs to represent 10 metres. So I'm going to select that symbol, edit family and just change those numbers. So this here would be 10. This would be 6. Oops. This would be 2. Okay, so it might make sense to have that as 5 instead. And so you can just move that across to the midpoint of that line. It's good just to again check the measurements, so in your head you can just work out that 5 metres should be 25 mil. Okay, so that's done. I just need to change this to 1 to 200. And that's now a 1 to 200 scale. Okay, so again, just making sure I'm saving that so you can get to it on the P drive. Loading the project. Place that over to the side. Okay, and then going the other way, we can make it 1 to 50. Okay, so to make it easier, I'm going to go back and edit the 1 to 100 scale again. And go the other way. So this would be 2.5 metres. This would be 1.5 which again might be not such a good measurement to have. So if we bring that across, okay, so there, what's uh, 1500 divided by 50 should be 30 mil. So why am I being stupid there? So let's just So let's get the cup there up. Uh, so what am I doing there? So two, let's do 2,000. So 2,000 divided by 50 gives us uh, 40 mil.
Okay, so 40 should give us exactly 2 metres. Uh, 20 will give us 1. So either of those would do. I think I'll do 1. You could do 0.5 if you like, or maybe just take that one out. But it might be nice to have a couple of measurements, so maybe we can copy that one across and actually put in the two. Okay, so yeah, maybe that could just come across a bit more. And of course that just needs to change to under 50. Okay, so mm, still not entirely happy with that. Maybe actually might be better to do 0.5. One to 50 is always a bit tricky. Uh, and so here you can just copy that across. Okay, so that would be 10 mil, 10 times 5 is obviously 50, oops, got the 1 in there, yeah, That's, yeah. Still not great, but uh, no, it's better the way it was before. Yeah, so it's up to you which measurements you put there, but it's good just to have enough to make it useful for people. And uh, so let's change that to 50. There we go. So we're going to save as family, and we'll make it, of course. 50. Okay, so ah, so this is my one to one hundred four plan. So I need to of course put that back to one to one hundred. So now I've got those three scales. So I'll just, again, to prove it to you, make another floor plan. So again, just duplicating the original. Make that one to 50, which of course will be too big to fit onto a sheet. So I'm going to crop that just to show part of my floor plan. Okay, so that should just fit. Open those up. Go back onto the sheet. Let's make a new sheet. Okay, so there we are. And uh, okay, so if I measure, well you can see there quite clearly, two and a half meters is roughly half of that area, which is speed over five meters. So it's good just to have that as a reference to check the measurements. So it makes sense. Yep.